Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of my devlog series. For those who don't know, I'm developing a PC game. It's supposed to be a 2D platformer. So far I've only made Android games. Two of them were on MIT App Inventor and only one of them was in Unity. The game I made in Unity was called Tap to Fly. It's still on the Play Store for Android phones if you want to check it out. But it's like Flappy Bird type of game. Just a simple game to be my first project in Unity. But now I'm creating my first project for PC. If you didn't see the video where I promoted this project, you can check it out on the top right corner right now. Since this is my first PC game, I had to learn something. I started learning map creation, collisions and character movement. I started creating a simple map just to test everything. As you can see, it's not that difficult. You just got to drag the blocks to the screen and place them wherever you want. The tricky part was the animations and the character movement because I had to develop some scripts in C sharp and it's not my best language but it's not that difficult to with some help from YouTube videos I was able to make this I had to make some scripting and I made the character walk and jump kinda As you can see it was a little buggy so I had to code a little bit more. Nice. Next step was to learn animations. It was a little bit tricky this part because it was a little confusing with all these arrows and all these steps and all these states but I managed. Then I had to make the character flip when you walk backwards. If you are facing right, the character faces right. If you are facing left, the character faces left. It seemed simple, but then I encountered some bugs, as you can see. But I mean, he's turning around, isn't he? With all the basic movement done and animations, I had to start thinking the real game because that's not my game, that's not the assets I'll be using. So I found some free assets to build the map and I found a very cool ninja that I was able to buy because of my patrons. So thank you so much to all my patrons who are supporting this journey and helped me buy the first character for the game. If you want to develop this game too, you could check out my Patreon page in the link in the description down below. Then I made a sample scene to test it out and I had to redo all the work I've learned before with the new character. So I added movement, I added animations, I added jumps and I added a skill, a dash skill. But the dash was infinite and you could walk left and right always dashing so I had to add a cooldown and now you can only dash a little bit and then you have to wait 3 seconds to be able to dash again. I think it's a cool mechanic and really good for the gameplay I have in mind. I've been writing down all the ideas I have for this game and believe me, if I can do what I'm thinking about, it will be a great great game. But I think it will take a long time to make everything right. The patrons will be the first to know the spoilers I guess, but I will not reveal everything given to the patrons. I want you to play the game and feel surprised when you find out the real story of the game I guess. I can't give you spoilers, I have some cool ideas, believe me. In the next episode we'll be creating the tutorial. I think this should be the first stage to be put in the game because in the tutorial I will be applying all mechanics that I want to implement in the game. So if I finish the tutorial, I'm prepared to start the real game. So, don't forget to tune in for the next episode, hope you like it, and see you in the next one.